okay so in this uh, class we will take problems of solving systems of differential equations x dash equal to ax where a will be a 2 by 2 matrix and the eigenvalues will be repeated eigenvalues real and repeated eigenvalues so let us start with a problem directly so let's just say solve x dash equal to 0 1 minus 4 and 4 x okay so let us see how to solve this system so first of all we will find out the eigenvalues so the matrix a is 0 1 minus 4 4 so the characteristic polynomial c lambda is equal to lambda square minus trace is 0 plus 4 lambda plus determinant is 0 plus 4 is equal to 0 so this means that lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 4 is equal to 0 so this is lambda minus 2 into lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 so the eigenvalues are lambda equal to 2 comma 2 okay now let us go and find the eigenvector so a lambda i minus a minus lambda i or you can take lambda i minus a anything is fine which is a minus 2 i so we have only eigenvalue single eigenvalue which is 2 so a minus 2 i will be equal to a is 0 1 minus 4 4 minus 2 times identity means 2 0 0 2 so which is equal to minus 2 1 minus 4 and 2 so this means that if i divide the second row by 2 i will get minus 2 1 minus 2 1 so this will give me when i do r2 minus r1 here i've did r2 minus r2 by 2 okay when i do r2 minus r1 and substitute it in r2 this will become minus 2 1 0 0 so this will mean that the first variable which is say x is free variable and y is a free variable so y is free so i will put y equal to t so therefore the equation that i will get from the first row is minus 2x plus y is equal to 0 so put y equal to t so this means 2x is equal to y so x is equal to t upon 2 because y is t so the vector x comma y that we will get will be t by 2 and t if i pull out half and t out we get 1 and 2 so the eigenvector that i will choose will be what will be 1 comma 1 2 for the eigenvalue lambda equal to 2 okay therefore the solution now we will not get the second eigenvector because if i because the second eigenvalue is also lambda and if i again put lambda equal to 2i minus a lambda i minus a i will get the same eigenvector so we will not get two different eigenvectors so corresponding to the same eigenvalue lambda equal to 2 and 2 we have got only one eigenvector so we expect that the solution will be what so we say that suppose i say that solution is x1 t is equal to so that solution will be c1 e raised to lambda t v1 bar okay v bar because we have only one eigenvector so it will be equal to c1 e raised to 2t into the eigenvector is what 1 comma 1 and 2 okay but we know that uh, if we have a system if you have two differential equations system of two differential equations two constants must uh, float in your solution you cannot have only one constant floating in the solution so it means something is remaining okay so now what we will do 
we will uh, i hope you remember that in the in the linear differential equations when you had yc which was c1 e raised to suppose 2x plus c2 e raised to 3x suppose this was your y y y, y c okay then if you remember the method of variation of parameters okay in variation of parameters what did you do you took the e raised to 2x and e raised to 3 the basic solutions you kept as it is but what you did for particular solution was you took c1x instead of c1 we wrote something like ax e raised to 2x plus bx e raised to 3x i hope you remember this we did something like this in variation of parameters so these parameters were these constants were uh, converted into such functions of x okay so so that was the method of variation of parameters so here also we will now uh, use the method of variation of parameters and we will try to find those functions of x what do i mean by all this okay so in short what i want to tell you is that in short I want to tell is that I will assume still my solution is not complete I hope everyone understands because we must have two constants floating in the solution right so we will assume that the solution is of the form x let us call that solution x to t okay is equal to e raised to 2 t okay and this person that is this and c1 okay this i'm going to remove i'm going to say suppose those parameters are varying and those parameters i'm going to call as suppose i call it as a1t and b1t okay so here this is like what i'm doing like similar to method of variation of parameters okay so now what i will do is i will take this x to t and this x to t we will substitute in the system substitute x to t in system what was the system the system was x dash equal to ax right which is x2 x2 substituted x2 what is x2 dash t equal to matrix what was the matrix the matrix was 0 1 minus 4 4 and x 2 t okay now what is x 2 t dash what is the derivative of x 2 t what is the derivative of e raised to 2 t into the vector a 1 t b 1 t okay so that derivative is here i will write it here so this is i'm going to use obviously i'm going to use the product rule what is the product rule saying it will be 2 e raised to 2t into the vector a1t b1t as it is plus e raised to 2t as it is and into the derivative of the vector component wise which is a1 derivative t b1 derivative t okay is equal to matrix 0 1 minus 4 4 into x2 what is x2 i am substituting x2 again what is x2 x2 is this e raised to 2t okay a1 t p1 t okay so what will i get now here 
if i look at e raised to 2t e raised to 2t throughout is common see e raised to 2t is here e raised to 2t is here on the right hand side also e raised to 2t is there so e raised to 2t cancels throughout so if that happens what is it becoming it is becoming this first vector will become 2a1t 2b1t plus a1 dash t b1 dash t is equal to so this e raised to 2t e raised to 2t has cancelled from all the right and let us multiply this matrix with this vector what is the zero a one t plus b one t okay i'm doing the steps in details because this is the first sum okay the next the next multiplication will be minus four a one t plus four b one t okay so if i compare the first component so what is the first components of the above vector just see first component the first component is 2 a1 t plus a1 dash t is equal to b1 t correct the second component what is the second component the second component says that 2 b1 t plus b1 dash t is equal to minus 4 a1 t plus 4 b1 t okay so simplifying the first equation will look like a1 dash t is equal to what minus 2 a1t plus b1t okay and the second equation will look like b1 dash t is equal to minus 4 a1t plus 2 b1t Plus two b one t. Okay. So I have taken a one dash t and a b one dash t on the left hand side, and I have transferred all the other terms on the other side. Okay. So this means that do you observe that the second equation is double of the first equation. So hence we observe. B one dash t is two times a one dash t, and therefore I integrate both sides. Okay, we will get B one t is two a one t plus some. constant with a some constant okay right? this b1 t i will substitute in the first equation okay let me just go back a little bit what are we trying to find what are we trying to find we are trying to find in the variation of parameters method when you write the system of this form your target is to find what to find a1t and b1t when you write in variation of parameters if you remember yp is equal to ax something plus bx something what was your target your target was to find what ax and bx so here what is our target our target is to 
find a1 t and b1 t do not forget this and then we will substitute it in this equation okay well let me go back so what i have got is that i have got a1 i have got recently i have got a2 t is equal to how much uh, what is that sorry i'm i've got the value of b1 t okay i've got the value of b1 t now this value of b1 t i will substitute in equation uh, one okay let me call this equation one and let me call this equation two so substitute in one when i substitute in one what will i get i will get a1 dash t is equal to minus 2 a1 t plus b1 what is b1 b1 is this 2 a1 t plus a this cancels okay where well, what is a a is a constant number constant real number so i've got, got that a1 dash t is equal to a and therefore when i integrate i will get a1 t is equal to some so what is the integral of a the integral of a is a t plus some constant okay that constant i'm calling b so b is the integration constant so i got the value of a1 t what is a1 t a1 t is some constant multiplied by t plus some constant once i get the value of a1 t okay i will substitute in this and i will get the value of b1 t so substitute it in equation 3 so substitute in equation 3 we'll get to b1 t is equal to 2 times a1 t plus a what is a1 t a1 t is a t plus b so this is equal to 2 a t plus 2 b plus a what are a and b a and b are constant real numbers so i got the value of a1 t and b1 t these were the various varying parameters right and therefore what does my x2 become and therefore we substitute a1 t and b1 t substitute a1 t and b1 t in x2 above okay what was that x2 that x2 was that is x2 was how much x2 was e raised to 2t correct let me just recall okay it was e raised to 2t a1t b1t now we have the values of a1t and b1t so which is equal to which is equal to e raised to 2t what is a1t a1t is a t plus b and what is b1t 2 a t plus 2 b plus a okay let us collect the terms properly and separate it into uh, let us try to look at different version of this so this will equivalently look like e raised to 2 t into a into t into the vector 1 2 do you see that the first terms a t and 2 a t and e raised to t 2 t this this terms i can write it like this plus the next thing i can write it as e raised to 2 t and i can take a b common and here i will get the vector 1 comma 2 again okay when i look at b and 2 b in the last person i will get what i will get e raised to 2 t is there okay and i can take a also common when i take a common here actually there is nothing so here i can zero so i can take anything common 
okay but if i do that i am going to get what i am going to get a zero one correct so this becomes the form of what x 2t now out of these three things we want to eliminate some one person we want to eliminate see you have got uh, three things one two and three okay out of these three things i want to eliminate one person who is that one person that i can eliminate so what are a and b a and b are any constants okay so i will smartly choose just pay attention okay this is very important smartly choose b equal to zero okay and a equal to one okay if i do that okay um if i if i do that i will come to to later why i am choosing b equal to zero and a equal to one okay so if i do that i will get what i will get e raised to 2t into t 1 2 plus this person has gone away and this is e raised to 2t into 0 1 because a is 1 okay so this is a value of x 2t that i am getting okay now why so so so, th so this means that our actual answer is now complete okay so what is the solution therefore the final solution the final solution will be x of t is equal to x1 t plus c1 x1 t plus c2 x2 t what is c1 x1 t who is c1 x1 t let me just scroll up and see uh, have i inserted c1 and in x1 t just let me just check it okay ah, see here where is uh, so this is x1 t so let me omit this x c1 from here okay now so now this will be the first solution what is x1 t e raised to 2 t 1 2 see observe this 1 2 1 2 is the 1 2 is the eigenvector okay the same one two we have got below it is not by fluke that we have got the eigenvector one two so when i scroll down a little bit so here i am going to get c1 x1 t what is x1 t e raised to 2 t into 1 2 plus c2 what is c2 into x2 t what is x2 t x2 t is this so which is e raised to 2 t into t 1 2 plus e raised to 2 t 0 1 okay so this will be the complete solution of the given system okay so let us write down some observations from the above calculations so what are the observations the observations are that if the eigenvalue is lambda is repeated twice this is all for two by two matrix is repeated twice and v bar is eigenvector which we have found out for the system then the first solution x1 t that we will take will be what v1 v bar e raised to lambda t okay also by variation of parameters method the expression for x2 t comes out to be e raised to lambda t v bar into t plus e raised to lambda t into some other vector okay that other vector i am calling w bar okay and the general solution xt is given by what 
C1 X1 T plus C2 X2 T. So what is our target? Once you find X1 T means once you find V bar and lambda bar, this quantity is known to you. T into this quantity is also known to you because lambda is known to you. This quantity is also known to you because V bar is known to you. In this X to T, this quantity is also known to you because lambda is known to you. What remains to find is that what is the vector W? Okay. So to find the solution, we must find the vector W bar. Okay. Once you find the vector W bar, your answer will get over immediately right so now let us see problems on how to find this vector w bar in the previous problem the vector w bar came up to be what look at this above problem the vector w bar came up to be 0 1 this was w bar okay so now this problem we will solve by using the above three observations right so let us first find what are the eigenvalues so the matrix a here is 8 minus 1 4 and 12 so the characteristic polynomial c lambda will be equal to lambda square minus trace is 20 lambda determinant is 48 uh, 28 96 plus 4 is 100 equal to 0 which is nothing but lambda minus 10 into lambda minus 10 so therefore lambda is equal to 10 comma 10 which is repeated eigenvalue let us find the eigenvector eigenvector is lambda i minus a is equal to 10 i minus a is equal to 10 0 0 10 minus a is 8 minus 1 4 12 which is 2 1 minus 4 and minus 2 correct so i will divide the second row by minus 2 so this will become 2 1 2 1 so that the second row will become 0 and I do R2 minus R1. This will become 2, 1, 0, 0. Therefore, if I assume that the variables are x and y, I will get to x as a leading variable and y is free. So I can say put y equal to t. Therefore, I will get 2x plus y equal to 0 from the first row. So this will mean this x is equal to minus t upon 2. Therefore, the vector x comma y will be minus t upon 2 and t. If we take minus t upon 2 outside, we want to get 1 and minus 2. So the eigenvector that we can choose v bar will be how much? 1 comma minus 2 corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda equal to 2 and therefore the first solution that I'm going to get x1 t will be e raised to lambda t v bar which is given by x1 t equal to e raised to 2 t into the vector 1 comma minus 2 so this is x1 t Since lambda equal to 2 is repeated eigenvalue, assume the second solution x to t is given by e raised to lambda t e raised to lambda t v bar plus e raised to lambda t w bar. Sorry, lambda is 10. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I'll just change the lambda. 10. Okay. 
so therefore what is x2 therefore so we will substitute x2 in the system what is the system the system is x dash equal to ax that is x2 dash is equal to a x2 what is a so x2 dash is equal to a what is matrix a the matrix a is how much 8 minus 1 4 12 x2 what is x2 dash what is the derivative of x2 look at this particular term x2 so 1 minus 2 is a constant vector so even alpha beta is a constant vector so that will not change what so if i want to find a derivative i'll find a derivative of t e raised to 10 t by using the product rule and what is the derivative of e raised to 10 t that will be 10 e raised to 10 t so if i, if I find a derivative of the, the terms now look at the first term it will be 10 into e raised to 10 t into t 1 minus 2 plus then i will take the derivative of t now so it should be 1 and e raised to 10 t into that vector will remain as it is these two terms have come because of the product rule which is applied to this term okay plus what is the derivative of this person now the derivative of this person is 10 e raised to 10 t into the vector alpha beta so this becomes your left hand side who is this x2 dash i've just taken the derivative this is equal to this is equal to matrix 8 minus 1 4 12 into x2 what is x2 to write this x2 again okay so it is equal to t into e raised to 10 t 1 minus 2 plus e raised to 10 t alpha beta okay now once now we have to simplify this calculation and simplifying this calculation for what simplifying this calculation to find what to find alpha and beta okay now when i write the left hand side carefully okay the left hand side i'm writing this expression carefully now see all of you left hand side is not an issue right hand side is an issue so 10 e raised to 10 t into t 1 minus 2 plus e raised to 10 t into 1 minus 2 plus 10 e raised to 10 t into alpha beta is equal to multiply this matrix to this particular thing so t into 10 t into e raised to 10 t is as it is and this matrix is going to multiply this vector what will happen if this matrix multiplies to this vector we will get a vector because a 2 by 2 matrix multiplied by a vector which is 2 by 1 will become how much will again become a vector which is what which is 2 by 1 right so what is that vector so 8 into 1 plus minus 1 into minus 2 is 2 and what is the second component 4 into 1 and 12 into minus 2 which is minus 24 correct so this is that matrix when i multiply to it this now let us multiply the matrix to alpha beta also okay so when i multiply that matrix to alpha beta this e raised to 10 t will remain as it is outside the thing it will not multiply anything what will i get here 
I will get 8 alpha. See, I'm multiplying what? I'm multiplying the matrix 8 minus 1, 4, 12 with the vector alpha, beta. What will I get? I will get 8 alpha minus 1 beta and what? 4 alpha plus 12 beta. This is what I'm going to write there, okay? So I will get here 8 alpha minus beta and 4 alpha plus 12 beta. Correct. Now, if you observe carefully that this T e raised to 10 T and the left hand side T e raised to 10 T, this and this cancels. Correct. Because here you have the vector 10 and minus 20 out of which if I pull a 10 common, I will get what? I will get the vector exactly 1 and minus 2 and this and this will exactly cancel. So this is also this uh, this is as good as this 8 plus 2 is as good as saying 10 and minus 20 correct and when i take a 10 common from the vector this will become 1 and minus 2 therefore the left hand side term and the right hand side term have cancelled each other and this cancels always Okay, so the so which term cancels from both the sides? The term which contains a T, that term cancels from both the sides. And what is remaining in the picture now? Let us write what is remaining in the picture. Now, when you look at the remaining picture, when you look at the remaining terms, left hand side you have this term, right hand side you, uh, then left hand side you have this term. And on the right hand side you have only one term. Can we cancel E raised to 10T throughout? Yes. Because e raised to 10 t is with every term, so that will cancel. And what will I remain with? I will remain with vector 1 minus 2 plus the vector 10 alpha 10 beta because this e raised to 10 t, e raised to 10 t, e raised to 10 t has cancelled. Okay, and what will you get on the right hand side? 8 alpha minus beta, 4 alpha plus 12 beta. And this eventually means that 1 minus 2 is equal to this 10 alpha and 10 beta will go on that side and it will become 8 alpha minus beta minus 10 alpha and this will become 4 alpha plus 12 beta minus 10 beta and this gives me that 1 comma minus 2 vector is nothing but what? minus 2 alpha minus beta and this will become 4 beta plus sorry 4 alpha plus 2 beta and therefore you got two equations what are the two equations the two equations are 2 alpha minus beta equal to 1 and the second equation is 4 alpha plus 2 beta is minus 2 and this means when I solve them simultaneously I will get the value of alpha will be 0 and value of beta will come to be minus 1. So I got the value of alpha beta and therefore when I substitute in x2, what was x2? What was x2? x2 was t e raised to 10 t. 1 comma minus 2 plus e raised to 10 t alpha beta this is what alpha beta what is alpha beta alpha beta is 0 and minus 1 and therefore your general solution becomes x of t is equal to c1 x1 t plus c2 x2 t where x1 and x2 are written above x dash equal to 4 1 minus 4 8 x
solution. Matrix A is 4, 1, minus 4, 8. So the characteristic polynomial is C lambda, which is equal to lambda square minus 12 lambda. 8 and 4 is 36. So this will become 0. So this is lambda minus 6 into lambda minus 6. So the eigenvalues are repeated. Lambda is equal to 6 comma 6. Eigenvector consider lambda i minus a which is equal to 6 0 0 6 minus matrix a matrix a is 4 1 minus 4 8 which is equal to 2 minus 1 4 and minus 2 divide the second row by 2 so we get 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 and then perform r2 minus r1 so that this becomes 2 minus 1 0 0 so the second variable is y first variable is x i'm assuming that y is free so put y equal to t and therefore when i get the equation from the first row i'll get this 2x minus y that is equal to 0 so y by 2 is x this means x is t by 2 and therefore the vector x comma y will become t by 2 t which is t by 2 is out 1 2 so the eigen vector that i can choose is 1 2 corresponding to the eigen value lambda equal to 6. So the first solution x1t will be e is to 6t vector v bar is 1, 2. This is x1t. Since lambda equal to 6 is repeated eigenvalue, the second solution that we will assume will be x to t equal to t e raised to lambda t v bar plus e raised to lambda t w bar so x to t is equal to t e raised to 6 t vector v bar is 1 2 plus e raised to 6 t alpha beta this is x to t to find alpha beta substitute x2 in the system x2 dash is equal to a matrix a is 4 1 minus 4 8 x2 substitute the derivative of x2 i'm writing the derivative of x2 now it is 6 e raised to 60 into t 1 2 plus e raised to 60 into 1 2 this is the derivative plus 6 e raised to 60 alpha beta this is the derivative of the left on the left hand side multiplied by matrix 4 1 minus 4 8 x2 what is x2 i will write x2 completely t e raised to 60 into the vector 1 2 plus e raised to 60 into alpha beta sorry into alpha beta now we know that the terms corresponding to t always cancel so this term and this term will get cancelled so terms of t cancel always so whatever is remaining is and e raised to 60 cancels throughout 
so whatever is remaining is this which is half half means one two plus six alpha this term is e raised to 60 has cancelled okay six alpha six beta is equal to matrix four one minus four eight into the vector alpha beta which is saying that four alpha plus beta this is minus 4 alpha plus 8 beta minus the vector 6 alpha 6 beta and here on the left hand side I have only left with the vector half correct so this will mean that the vector 1 comma 2 is equal to minus 2 alpha plus beta and minus 4 alpha plus 2 beta so solving these two equations simultaneously minus 2 alpha plus beta equal to 1 and 4 alpha plus 2 beta equal to 2 we will get the values of alpha and beta and that turns out to be 0 and beta turns out to be 1 Therefore, the solution x to t becomes e raised to 6t, v vector was 1 to t plus e raised to 6t into alpha beta, alpha beta is 0, 1. This is x to t, this is equation 2. Therefore, by 1 and 2, equation 1 was x1 t, okay. The final solution x t is equal to c1 x1 t plus c2 x2 t it's a general solution